Fremantle will look at a number of different options for selection ahead of the IAC derby, according to senior coach Justin Longmuir. The playing group has spent the week working on stoppages and reconnecting as a side, especially within the midfield, which has been struggling to find harmony in the absence of skipper Nat Fife and senior midfielder David Monday. Fife is currently on the sidelines after undergoing an operation after experiencing issues with a lower disc in his back, and senior midfielder David Monday is currently in the AFL's health and safety protocols. Share close share this video share on Facebook. Share on Twitter. Share on WhatsApp. Copy link link copy to clipboard getting back to playing our footy Justin Longmuir JL chats with media ahead of the RAC derby this weekend. I thought we didn't get the basic stoppage work right last week and that can be said around our contest all over the ground, so that's a good start, Longmuir said. We need to make sure there's ground ball battle and really go to work. There's a lot we can do, getting back to playing our footy and being on the same page and making sure we're a really connected midfield group. We're obviously missing a few through the middle of the ground and we were badly beaten through there on the weekend, so we need to look at a number of different options. In the absence of Fife and Monday, Longmuir believes this could create opportunities for other players to prove themselves on field. Neil Erasmus is yet to debut for the side and has been proving himself with an impressive performance on the weekend at Peel Thunder in the Waffle. Forward Mitch Crowden missed selection in round two, but has spent minutes relishing in the midfield during the preseason. Mitch has played a lot of midfield minutes for us over the preseason and was unlucky not to get an opportunity in round one, Longmuir said. There is a number of options, but having said that, we want to find a balance between making players accountable and making sure we don't overreact. So that's a fine line sometimes. There's a lot of magnets on the whiteboard and we'll just have to see what gives us the best mix and the best chance at doing a better job than last week. Longmuir is confident injured players Matt Taberner and Nathan Wilson could be up for selection, as long as they get through Thursday's main training session. He's going to have to get through main training and he's ticked every box so far, but he's got a lot of markers to hit in main training to today, he needs to get through training and feel confident, Longmuir said. Share close share this video share on Facebook. Share on Twitter. Share on WhatsApp. Copy link link copper to clipboard Perth Radiological Clinic Injury Update Peter Bell gives an update with Monday, Darcy, Fife and more. Meanwhile, Ruck Sean Darcy and key forward Josh Tracy are both progressing well after facing ankle injuries in the AFL and Waffle respectively. Brennan Cox is also looking to be up for selection after exiting the AFL's health and safety protocols. He's improving every day, it's going to be touch and go it's a good result considering the action that was there on the weekend and whether he gets up or not this week. We feel it's a short-term thing, Longmuir said. Trace's ankle pulled up really well and there wasn't as much damage as we might have suspected, it's looking positive for him. Coxie comes out of protocols, he'll train with us today and we'll see how he goes from there," Longmuir said. The AFL has advised Fremantle and West Coast that there will be an extended line for the team lodgements for the RAC derby to be played at Optus Stadium on Sunday, the 3rd of April. Extended squads will not be submitted with final teams for both clubs to be released publicly at 2.30pm WST. 5.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time on Saturday, the 2nd of April. The AFL is continuing to work closely with the West Coast Eagles who have multiple players in AFL health and safety protocols.